Hello everyone, this is Larry Finale and welcome to Michelle Lee's Korean Kitchen. Hi Michelle, how are you? Good, how are you doing? I'm doing fine. Today is Michelle's debut of a new show, a new cooking show, and she will be saving us money in the process, right? I hope so, yeah, because uh, I don't like to spend money. <laughs> <laughs> she will also be showing us how to, how to cook some tasty and easy Korean dishes. But before we tackle her in the kitchen, I would like to introduce everybody in the peanut gallery. We have, from my left, you guys right out there, we have Anthony Ramos. Hi, Anthony. Hi there. Next to Anthony, we have George Sepich. Hey, nice to be here. Hey, George, captain of the Pirates Pub. Yeah, I've been here <laughs> enough. I think I'm, I'm peanut butter now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, next to George, we have Kim Beasley. Hi, Kim, from uh, Kansas City, right, Kim? Yes. Hello, everyone. Yeah. Hello. And, of course, next to me is Michelle, but we'll come, be coming back to her. Uh, next to Michelle, we have Dr. Sandy Hill. Hey, Sandy. Hi. Good to be here. From New Jersey. And, of course, the Trini Gourmet herself, my good friend, Hi. Serena Bland, who also has a cooking show, and uh, she will be coming on next week, Thursday. Next Thursday. Next this Thursday. Thursday. Okay. Yeah, this Thursday, yeah, because the week starts today. Right. Yes. And um, next to Serena, we have Stephanie Manley from Hi. Texas. Hey, Steph. How are you? Good. How are y'all doing? I'm fine. And of course, we have after Stephanie, the storm chaser himself, Stormy. Hello, world. And this, <laughs> all right. So now that everybody's been introduced, uh, Michelle, tell us a little bit about what you'll be doing today, and just give us a little point of view of your show for the you know coming coming weeks. Okay. Gotcha. Um, well, today we're going to do mandu two ways. Um, mandu is just like uh, Korean dumplings. So if you like egg rolls or like um, if you like any kind of dumplings, you know, any kind of dumplings, it'll be, it, you'll like this. But um, I actually am Korean born, but I grew up with an all-American family in the Midwest. So it wasn't until I started going back to Korea in 1998 um, when I started actually cooking a lot of Korean food. So, um, there are a lot of things that I do not like um, with Korean food that might be, um, that I tweak with the recipe. So sometimes I don't like a lot of fish sauce or a lot of anchovies. Um, I mean, I'll eat them, but when I'm cooking for myself or for my family, I might like keep that out. So it's just kind of like a, a, a mix of food <laughs> between like, what I like and like Korean stuff. But yeah. um, this mandu recipe is pretty traditional. The soup is something that I just kind of threw together. So okay. Well, good. That's what I'm going to do. Um, okay. Do you want me to get started? Get started. It's your show, my dear. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. So the mandu is very easy to make. And actually, I learned this from one of my... Um, from one of my friend's mother. Like, she gave me this recipe. It's very simple. Um, you do use beef and pork. So if you don't like beef or pork, you can substitute whatever you want. I mean, it's your thing. Um, a lot of people will do tofu or um, or mushrooms, and that's, right. and that's just fine. So what I'm going to do... And uh, uh, Folks, if those of you who are looking out from at, at the event, the recipe is... In the event, um, and it can be just copied and downloaded. If you if you already downloaded and you want to cook along, feel free to. This is very very easy, and you know it, it doesn't have to be perfect. So I'm going to put mm. two cups of ground beef and then um, one cup of pork, mm -hmm. ground pork, and you know what? Um, I think. What is it the fresh market? Um, do you guys ever do you guys have a fresh market by your house? Does that place sound familiar to you? Mm, I, I'm all the way in Trinidad, so I don't think we have <laughs> fresh market here. But maybe Whole Foods. <laughs> but Whole Foods. They have, um, really good sales on ground beef on Tuesday. It's like two ninety nine a pound. So I try to get mine on Tuesday. Right. Um, okay, so I have my meat. But what I'm going to do now is use one zucchini. Mm -hmm. And this is very easy. 
you, have any of you guys had this before, Mondo? No. Um, well, I've done dumplings. How about anybody in the um, peanut gallery? I've had um, dumplings and uh -huh. I've had, um, what's the other thing uh, that you can get at a Chinese restaurant? Oh, dim sum. Dim sum. Dim -sum. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's kind of like dim sum. Um, it doesn't, I think dim sum has more of a pork flavor to it. Mm -hmm. um, and really, this doesn't. This is more just like, um, I don't know, I keep saying egg rolls, but it's, I mean, it's not. Yeah. But it has less of a pork taste to it. But you know what, Kim? You know, I grew up in Kansas City, so if, if you wanted to try Mandu, a good place to go is Choga. I kind of think it's like up, um, I want to say it's like up near Metcalf, but I can't remember. But that's where we used to go um, when we when I was a college student. <laughs> okay. And there's a place called Royal China, too, in Kansas City. That's pretty good. S S Serena, let me ask you something. I mean, oh. we, we here in Trinidad, and... You know, we have a mixed culture down here, a very diverse culture. We do have Asian yeah. influence. Yeah. Um, the mandu or the dumplings, as we call them. You, you, you make those. Oh. I've made pot stickers. Mm -hmm. So I don't know how similar or dissimilar the approach is, but I've made pot mm -hmm. stickers, vegetarian style. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And well, pow, but I think yeah. this is quite different <laughs> from pow. So. <laughs> yeah. What do you but there used to be a Korean restaurant here, and I don't know if it's still open, but now I'm going to try and see if it's still open, because I'd like to try this. What, what part? Uh, is it in Port of Spain? It was in Newtown. Oh, Newtown. For a while, okay. yeah. Okay. So I'm just going to put one zucchini in here. So I okay. Have... I mean, I you can really put anything. A lot of people um, will put carrots in it or cabbage. And that's, I think when you put cabbage in it, that's when I start thinking of like, you know, egg rolls a little bit. But it's right. just whatever you can. I feel like um, it's just like the Asian ravioli. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like whatever you want to put in. Cool. But you want to dice it up really small. And and the good thing about about the, the dish is that it's very healthy because it's, you know. Yes. You can, well, I should say, you can make it very healthy. Like this is pretty healthy. Um, especially when it's steamed mm -hmm. or boiled, but we're gonna fry it. So okay. you can do so. You can, so, um, so you can you can make it healthier. Yes. <laughs> well, like when I put it in the soup, it's gonna be it's gonna be healthy. Right. Right. But my husband likes it fried. I mean, we like it fried too. So we're just gonna do a little bit of both. But steamed dumplings um, are really healthy. You know. Mm-hmm. Now, Michelle, about the um. About the money saving on the on the food, mm -hmm. uh, you you got most of the ingredients at at the Asian market, or you got yes. them at, at regular at the regular food stores. Well, you know the the thing that I like about going to an Asian market is that you can spend a lot less there. So, um, like, I mean, you can get a whole thing of this. Um, like this red pepper powder. This is a Korean mm. red pepper. But if you bought it in the grocery store, it would cost a lot more. Um, let me think of something in the example. Basically, the spices are probably like the best deal, I think, to get in an Asian market because you can get spices so cheap. Um, like I got this whole thing of rosemary mm -hmm. for like 99 cents. You know, if you went to the store, a regular grocery store, and tried to get like a... You know, like maybe one of these things. Uh, right. Mm -hmm. Rosemary, it's going to cost, you know, four or five bucks, depending yeah. if it's. You know, so. Yeah. so I try to go to the Asian market first, and Asian markets are really great for produce as well. So, um, you know, I go there first. Uh, if I can't find mm -hmm. it, then I'll go to my regular grocery store. Um, it's Sometimes it's easier just to get, like, my meat at the regular grocery mm -hmm. store. But, like,. Um, I go to the Korean market for like, you know, for kimchi or something yeah. special like that. You can, when you get it, when you get something like this at the grocery store, first of all, it doesn't taste fresh, and secondly, it's more expensive. So it's kind right. of, a, um, you know, more than likely you're going to get cheaper stuff at the Asian market. But okay. You have cool. to, once you start shopping, you'll know, you'll start picking up on it. Nice, nice. Okay, so I did the zucchini, and now I'm going to do two cloves of garlic. If you, I mean, you can do more garlic if you want. But I love garlic, so. I love garlic. I usually put about 
maybe a whole head of garlic in my when I cook. <laughs> oh gosh, Larry! I'm serious. We're not warding off vampires here. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, I, I just I just love using ga garlic and ginger. Yes, Those garlic and ginger, and they're both yeah, good and, for and, you. And Larry and Larry has no werewolf problems whatsoever. <laughs> None. He can vouch for that, right? <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> I actually feel really guilty because I'll eat garlic during my dinner break, and then uh, my co-anchor at work <laughs> um, <laughs> smells my breath. <laughs> I always use one of these. Do you use one of these? The garlic press, Larry? Uh, actually, I do it the old-fashioned way. Flat end of a, of a knife, a blade, and bam. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Good old um, elbow grease, as they say. <laughs> okay, so yeah. the next thing I'm going to use is a half an onion. I just pulled a red onion, but um, when I made this last night, I used mm -hmm. green onions. I mean, you just use whatever's in your whatever's in your kitchen. Mm -hmm. It's not going to like hurt anything either way. Cool. So. That is so healthy for you. Stormy, do you cook? I do, but not on this level. <laughs> <laughs> what are you, you you're like heat up heat up um, ramen I a, noodles? I have a pressure cooker and a rice cooker, and I, I do plenty of with those, but uh, not to this level. Well, any, any, any uh, can of spaghettios in the cupboard? <laughs> <laughs> but but I I am I am impressed with the fact that you have a pressure cooker. Not too many people. Have pressure cookers, That's nor do true. they know how to work a pressure cooker. Well, I still need them. tips on using it because I got it for Christmas. Oh, okay. Oh, All right. <laughs> <laughs> but I made pot roast first thing, and boy, was it tasty. Oh, good. good. So good. you didn't tell us you had that, Stormy. When are you going to uh, make it and send it out to everyone? <laughs> now, just as soon as I get my sample of this uh, mandu. Mm -hmm. I can send it to you. <laughs> Michelle, yeah, you Michelle, you have to feed the whole hangout, you know. <laughs> Make sure you have enough man do this. <laughs> we are a hungry peanut gallery. Yes. Okay, so let's see. What else am we, I gonna put in here? We, we don't. It, have... Um. Oh, kimchi. Yeah. No. One of one of your shows, Yum. though. Uh, Kim, um, Kim. Are you say kimchi, <laughs> Michelle? <laughs> I know. Uh, um, you have to show us how to make kimchi, yeah? Yes, I will one day. But, you know, yeah. I usually don't make it because it's um, a little messy and mm -hmm. you end up making so much that it's, um, I mean, we just don't eat it all. But mm -hmm. here's the thing that I love. Like in L.A. right now and mm -hmm. in other big cities too, but mostly L.A., um, they have like these Asian fusion trucks, these food trucks. Oh. And so you can get like kimchi cases quesadillas which oh, are really I oh. thought this, I thought it sounded like a terrible combination because it's because kimchi is like pickled basically pickled cabbage can you guys right. see this? Uh -huh. yeah so um it's just mm -hmm. like I don't know pepper and and salt. vinegar and <laughs> vinegar <laughs> salt lots of salt um mm -hmm. and you don't but you don't have to use it um this is optional but I I actually really like that but, looks a little bit like chow, what I grew up, uh, we grew up calling chow. What's that? It's this hot, spicy cabbage kind of oh, salsa no. looking that you put on top of of uh, meals, when, like greens or something like that when you like want to spice it up. Like yeah, and it's like a kind of a vegetable relish. It's like a condiment kind of, right? Yes. You when don't I, eat it separate. Was, you eat it on top together. of it. When I was in, when I was stationed in Korea, um, they told us that they buried the kimchi um, to make it really spicy for they do. months. Yeah, they do. it's like a uh, rot. It, it basically, yes. <laughs> and uh, if you um, like, for instance, my Korean mother, um, she has these big pots in her backyard, mm -hmm. and she just buries it in there. Yes. Oh, I, think, I mean, I think you get kimchi like you. I think like sometimes they leave it there for a really long time. Yeah. Like, I I feel like I've had like year old kimchi before. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I, I guess it's good and potent. Yeah. 
Spicy. Mm -hmm. Very spicy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then, I kind of feel like I'm making meatballs, really. Yeah, it, it, looks, it looks like it, yeah. Salt and pepper, I just kind of do this. Mm -hmm. No big whoop. And then an egg. How oh. how often how often do you make that for your husband? And does he enjoy well, it? Well it's a special treat. So what I will mm. do is I'll make these and then I'll store them in the freezer. So okay. if I make like a basically if you buy these little round um, wonton wrappers. Mm -hmm. you, you see these? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, if you buy these round ones I think I kind of think like mm -hmm. I don't know. I made them for like three hours last night, so I don't know. Wow. Oh, really? Yeah, I well because I was taking my time and yeah, kind of enjoying it. So, um, I'm gonna do a tablespoon of sesame oil, and this is just like toasted sesame oil, nothing special. Okay. But um, some Korean people are really particular about the sesame oil they use. And um, when my Korean parents, when I saw them a couple of years ago, they bought my American family like mm -hmm. all this really expensive sesame oil, which was funny because they were like, well, what do we do with this? <laughs> <laughs> I took it. I took it and used it. So, so then I'm just going to, oh, I'm just going to mix this up. Yeah. I wish you guys could smell it because it actually smells really good. I guess uh, we have to we have to work on that extension. I know. <laughs> Either Moritz or um, Robert Robert Pitt. <laughs> there you go. I think I can smell it. It it does smell good. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, last night. Okay, here's the deal. We went to Boone, North Carolina, this weekend. Um, and so that's like five hours from where we are at the beach. But, and it was snowing, so I was a little nervous. Like, I was like, am I going to have to do this in boom? Like, I wasn't sure if we could get back without snow. But um, before, I mean, I didn't cook it last night. Like, I just prepped mm. all this stuff, and all the guys um, were like, oh, my God, it smells so good. Will you please fix me some? <laughs> cool. But then they gorged themselves on chips and dip and went to bed. Uh, mm. So, awesome. okay. So, you can see, like, I really didn't do that much. But everything is pretty thin. Um, I could have probably made the little zucchini. Um, I could have diced it up a little bit smaller, but I didn't. So no one will. Uh, it won't be that big of a deal. Yeah. And and again, for those of you who know are now joining us, we have Michelle Lee in her debut of a new show, Michelle Lee's Korean Kitchen, and uh, today she's making mandu. Two ways. I'm a little nervous, Larry. <laughs> no, you're not. You're doing fine. You're doing fine. So I, was saying, I don't want to like <laughs> cause a kitchen fire. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think before the show, Stormy asked if you had a. Was it Stormy or um, Anthony asked if you had a um, fire extinguisher close by? <laughs> <laughs> I don't. That's the thing. Would be in trouble. <laughs> Okay, so I have a bowl of water right here. Um, I have my wrappers here. You don't have okay. to get the round ones, but mm -hmm. I really like the round ones. Um, yeah, round ones look nice. Round is a little more traditional for Korean cooking. So what we're going to do is we're going to fill this up, and then we're going to fold it over to, to make it a little more pretty. Ah. So Nice. Obviously, you want your hands to be clean. Mm -hmm. Do your hands need to be dry? Um, not really. I just keep like a little, um, I just keep a little paper towel near me, so. It's not the end of the world. You do kind of get a little messy. But I'm just going to take a little scoop. Oops. Hopefully I won't get like water fingers. Okay, so you, can you see this? Yep. Yeah. Hold on one second. Hold it still. Gotcha. Okay. So now I'm just going to close it up. Yeah. If you wanted to, I mean, you could leave it like this. No one's going to, you know, fault you for it. Right. But what I'm going to do is take my fingers in the water and kind of just do this. 
Now, don't judge me on this because I'm not, I feel like the only people who can do this well are like older Korean women. <laughs> you just fold it. Can you see how I'm folding it? Yeah, yeah. Very simple. It looks nice. I'm going to do that three times. That's it. Looks pretty. Nice. So it just gives it some shape. Yeah, lovely. Cool. Looks nice. Yeah. So we'll do that a couple times. But you know what? Actually, I got this thing at, um, where did I get this thing? I got this at Williams Sonoma, but you can, I'm sure you could get it anywhere. Mm -hmm. And so sometimes when I'm feeling not so Creator, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just put a little water on here. Hopefully, I, so the thing about these, though, is that you can overstuff it. Stuff it really easy. So mm -hmm. that's why I, I don't always use it. But it certainly is easier. See? Oh, oh yeah. Nice. How cool is that? So it just depends on what you want to do. I mean, mm -hmm. and honestly, you could make them into little purses if you wanted to. You don't have to do anything, you know. Mm -hmm. I think. Um, Can you hold the one up that you just did with the little uh, gadget? Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. What some? I've never really done it this way, mm -hmm. so I don't know if I should do this one. <laughs> <laughs> but some people they close it up and then somehow they like twist it. Oh, wait, no, I But see, I mean, honestly, you can make little purses. You can do whatever you want. Yeah, you can be very creative. Uh, mm -hmm. Not look at that one because that one is kind of ugly. But it'll eat the same. So it's okay. Mm -hmm. So give me one second. Take your time. So Stephanie. Yeah. You're always in the kitchen. Uh, it feels like it. Yes. Uh, have you ever tried making some of those um, dumplings or mandu? I have not, and, but when I've made like wontons, they never look near as pretty. Okay. They look very sad. <laughs> All right. This is what I did last night. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Oh, wow. How did that? Oh. Cool. What's that? That's the uh, mandus that, that she made. She prepped last night. Yeah. Oh, Michelle, and your priceless faces. <laughs> <laughs> They're so good. I can't help it. Honestly, like, I gain weight looking at these. Do you freeze them on a cookie sheet? Do you freeze them flat and then put them in a bag? or? Yeah, what I do, I put a cookie sheet down and just some wax paper mm -hmm. and then put these on. And it literally only takes probably like 20 minutes for them to freeze. I mean, mm -hmm. freeze enough wow. to like move them into a... Move it, yeah, into the bag. bag. Oh, that's a good tip. So this is where things get a little hairy. Which one? Oh, <laughs> um, and I'm gonna wash my hands real quick. Yeah. Just because the um, it's really easy to fry it, but my friend's mom would always put a little water um, against the oil, and so that always scared me a little bit. And I'm using. <laughs> Electric stove. Most Korean people cook with um, a gas stove. Gas, gas. Um, l those little gas burner stoves. Mhm. Mm yeah. yeah. I'll show you. I have one actually. I should have thought this through a little bit more. Yeah. Maybe I can send one to somebody one day. But this is a yeah. gadget. Hold on. <laughs> oh, okay. See, I'm trying to keep up with you, Michelle. <laughs> this is my favorite thing, okay? Because you can get this at a at an Asian market for like mm, twenty five bucks. Really? But amazing. Hold on. Yeah, you should you should use that. Yeah, make it authentic. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> make it authentic. Yeah. We're gonna make her be that way, huh? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Authentic all the way. <laughs> do it like do it the, like they do it in the mother country. This, you get these little um, butane things, um, mm. and a pack of four is only like five bucks. So it's really cool. it lasts a long time. It lasts forever. I mean, unless you're mm. cooking with it every day, you know. Yeah. Um. 
But wow. I kind of take it camping and stuff. And the best thing, it comes in this little like black suitcase. I mean, just this little. Uh, so, so it's an easy carry on kind of carry around sort of thing. Nice. Um, I don't I know if that's where it works. Most clean well, restaurants yeah. will have grills on the table. But in America, it's like so hard to get them like pass through because it has to be like a correct ventilation system. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. I had friends who owned a Korean restaurant and they really wanted to do the stove um, right there, but the health department said it was basically like making it almost impossible for them to do it because it was so expensive for the ventilation. Mm -hmm. But like if you go to like big bigger cities um, where there is a large Asian population, it's not really an issue. Yeah, yeah. I, I I didn't I didn't meant carry on. I can carry that onto a plane. No, I just meant. Carry okay, on. thank you very much. Because <laughs> <laughs> I was like, uh, no. Don't no, 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 no. That 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 wouldn't fly. <laughs> no, it would not. <laughs> you would have to ship it first. Yeah. Oh gosh! In the meantime, I should make my sauce. It'd be a flying saucer. Mm. I'll wait though. Uh, Ma Marilyn Ritter said she loves the little stove. <laughs> <laughs> it's great for everything. I mean, the thing is, like, we had gas at our lap at our home um, in the Midwest, but I guess like when we moved to the East Coast, um, they said that very few homes out here have gas. I mean, where we are. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, I don't know if that's because um, I don't actually I have no idea why that is, but they said that that's the case. So we have. Mm -hmm. Michelle, can you show us what size flame you're getting from it? Oh, oh can you see? Um, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a pretty decent flame. Yeah, not bad. I can get more, but I'm a little spurred. Yeah. <laughs> so, but it's hot. I mean, you can see that it's hot. So. Yeah. Hey, hey, George, you mind checking the um, event stream to see any more comments? Sure. Because I didn't load um, comment track in before before the show. But, okay. Yeah. Thanks. I think I shared one. Oh, yeah, uh, okay. All right. Let me. Um, in the, I shared two that were posted to to me on my on the pictures that I'm sharing. Oh, okay. Great. Thanks, Kim. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, I mean they're uh, in the comment, the chat, in the. They're in the chat. Oh, sorry. Okay. All yeah. right. Nice. So really, you just want to watch this? That's all. Yeah. But um, what my I like to say what the older Korean women do? They put water in it, and then it mm -hmm. like sparks, and it's like oh, I'm scared. Oh. Well, <laughs> um. <laughs> so I'll try it, but if we start a fire, then I'm really sorry. <laughs> Michelle, do you have them straight from the freezer to the, the pan, or do you let it thaw out a little? No, nope. straight to the freezer. Okay. But if you were going to make it homemade, you could do that too. So okay. it's really no big deal, either way. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, it's like bacon. It's like when I cook bacon at my house. Like <laughs> I literally put like this much water in there. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Michelle, that's nothing. Just pour the water in there. <laughs> Are you serious? Here. Okay. <laughs> oh no. See, now she knows start in trouble. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You have you have the cover. The cover is gonna protect you. Can you hear it? Uh, yeah. 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 I'm probably gonna burn these the first out the gate. No. So what is that kind of steam them and fry them at the same time, or? Yeah. Okay. So if you want to steam these instead, all you do is get some water. Yeah. Throw it in water. Throw them. In, throw the um, dumplings in there, and when they're done, they will float. Float to the top. Mm -hmm. Nice. Can you you can't see this pot, can you? Probably not. No, the other pot. No. Um. All all we have in focus is the. The skillet. Okay. Oh, good. Okay, so they're just a little brown, see? Mm -hmm. so I haven't burned them yet, which is great. They look good. Yeah, starting to get a little color on there. Nice. It's so amazing how much faster gas is, you know? 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, gas, gas is. I I have my gas stove here, and I I mean that thing cooks like that quickly. Michelle, Michael wants to know what kind of sauce you're using with them. What kind of sauce? Yeah, with the mandu. We're gonna make it. Mm. It's pretty good. <laughs> You should see my dog. She's in here like, what's happening? Who, who's that? Minnie? Is that Minnie? Minnie's uh -huh. in there? I don't know if you can see. Well, hold on. I have Minnie and Piper. Oh, uh, yeah. Minnie! <laughs> Hi, baby. Piper, come here. Those are big dogs. You're like, what do you have in your hands? I got nothing. Sorry, lady. <laughs> oh, they're ridiculous. We took them hiking yesterday. Uh -huh. And, um... My my youngest, my youngest, my little dog, um, she's only a year old, and she is, like, really agile, we discovered. So that was kind of scary. She almost, like, jumped off the cliff. There's a question for Michelle in the oh. chat that I... Oh, I already asked it. Okay. What, Michael's question? Mm. Yeah. 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 Okay, Kim. basically it's just soy sauce, um, sesame oil, pepper, and onions. Okay. Great. Kim, if anyone asks any questions, you feel free to go ahead and, and you know, talk to Michelle and, and ask her a question. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, feel free. And that goes for anyone else. If No question. <laughs> <laughs> Just so you guys know, I am taking pictures of everyone. Uh, <laughs> Kim Beasley, you're sneaky. <laughs> oh, Larry, you you're us. already in. I, I told, I'm telling everyone else but Larry. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> so, <laughs> so what are those that you're holding up? These are called glass noodles. Yeah, oh, I love those. Um, if you like, um, there's a dish called chapche, which we'll make um, sometime, but they're very thin noodles. Yeah, and see-through. See-through, yeah. And gluten-free. Love them. Like, I think oh. um, they're sweet potatoes. Sometimes they're beans as well. Michelle, are you making a cocktail with dinner? Oh, shoot. No, not tonight. Okay. <laughs> but Saki. I'm going to make something um, with soju. Have any uh, soju? Next. Before? No, I never had it. Next next show, definitely. That'll be a treat. I'm sorry. I got in all capital letters from Michael Banks. He said, uh, OMG, I love those noodles. <laughs> <laughs> I wish Michael could. Tell us about um, Korea, because he was in he was in Korea for a while. So. He, he was stationed there. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, cool. I'm just gonna give that a couple more minutes, just because I I don't want to. Um, usually you can just eyeball it, um, mm -hmm. just a couple minutes, but I I just don't want to like chew into raw pork. Or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, it wouldn't really bother me, but it probably wouldn't be good. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Uh, so great. I guess while that's cooking, I really let me get you over here. Um. So what I'm going to do is this is so simple, like super, 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 duper simple. This. And and what we're getting ready to do now, Michelle? Just make the sauce for make it. Make the sauce, nice. Mm -hmm. It's literally like five to one. Like that's the ratio when you're mm -hmm. doing um, this sauce. So it's not very scientific. Basically, all I'm going to do is put some soy sauce in here. Mm -hmm. this is probably like two tablespoons. And like a dash of sesame oil. I don't know if you can see how it's separated. Can you see that? Yeah. Nice shot. Yeah. It's so it's really not mm. like 
a lot of sesame oil. Mm-hmm. 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 Yes, sir. Mm. And what I'm using is this red pepper powder. Ah. But if you look, it's basically like a milder version of cayenne pepper. Oh, okay. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I get excited about cayenne pepper. <laughs> I, I put it in almost everything I cook. Well, I think you would like this then, Kim, because it's just like cayenne, except for it's honestly like a little more mild. Mm -hmm. So when I come to visit, you're cooking all of this for Heck me. Heck yeah, right? I will. <laughs> Absolutely. So, okay. So, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put like a dash in here. A dash of the pepper. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's, that's, not a, a that's, that's a little more than a dash there, Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I thought it was just me. So, Mary, you agree that's more than a dash. Okay. That's, 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 a, that's more than a dash there, Kim. <laughs> it's all relative. <laughs> Larry, Stormy's Ooh, leaving, so he's making room for Michael to come in. Okay, okay, no problem. Thanks for coming in, Storm. Bye, Stormy. Did he already go? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Michael is said that he was coming in. Oh, well, he came in. I wish house. Michael was closer, because I would feed him. You know what we keep saying? Spring break. <laughs> <laughs> No, he, he, he said if he gets a chance, he's going to go visit on spring break, and we're all talking about doing a hurl. A hurl uh, mm -hmm. down in, um, by Michelle, North Carolina? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. cool. Well, Michael's in the south already, so it'd be perfect. Kim needs to come out here. Well, all you guys can come out here. Yeah. My, Michael, <laughs> Michael Banks, if you can hear us, please come in. So I'll be right there, Michelle. Oh, that's oh, awesome. yeah. fantastic. Oh. Oh my gosh. But this yeah. is honestly, you know what, when you go you know what, when you go to the Chinese restaurant and like maybe you go to the buffet yeah. and they have dumplings. This is mm -hmm. always what it is. It's That's always it. it's always what it is. It's sesame, soy, a little bit of pepper, pepper. and then scallions. They usually don't put the scallions in there. They usually have them on the side, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Mm. Oh great. This one I'm getting ready to get a okay, shot so of her. Next thing I'm do. <laughs> <laughs> um, Michelle, Michelle. Huh? Uh, the Hangouts official photographer, Miss Kim Beasley, would like you to stay just a couple seconds so she could get those great shots of you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh she's waiting to... <laughs> I don't know what that means. Uh, just pause busy. a little bit. Every once in a while, in front of the camera, when you're like tasting something, or oh, okay, like this. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. It's so okay. funny. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so this is um, three cans of chicken broth. Now, if you really want to be fancy, you could make your own broth, but I just don't have time for that kind of stuff. So, um, what I'm gonna do? This is a really good lunch for my husband. I'm just gonna drop in a few of these thingamajiggers, and they'll go, they'll go with as we talk. Mm. For my do, I love the like, it's like the mustardy spicy sauce that I call mustardy spicy, but it's also <laughs> a little sweet. I love those with mandu. Do you make it? No, I got it at the market when I was there. Do you get like the packets, like the Chinese packets? No, no, they have it made already. I just request for it, and they make it. I just oh, like, like, the, like the hot, like the hot mustard. Yeah, it's something like that, but it's also sweet. Okay, hold on. Like a little sweet, it's not too sweet. Hold on, give me one second. I have to go for that. So, basically, what do with my lid? Hold on. Um, Michael, you can get that. You can this. It okay? So, how many? Do any of you guys like wasabi? I yeah. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Do you your yeah. Wasabi? No. No. <laughs> okay, so 
If you ever buy the tubes of wasabi, mm. it's disgusting. Well, I'm sorry. Wait, you might like it, so I don't want to. <laughs> 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 it's the kind of wasabi that you would get at this, like, um, like at a restaurant. But all you, but you just get this. Obviously not Korean. This is Japanese. Right. But, um, this was four ninety nine. I don't know if it has an expiration date. It oh, probably just looks this good. But um, let me show you. All this is a powder. Mm -hmm. oh. So that's what you can do, Michael, when you want the the mustard. It oh. comes like this. Oh wow. In the Asian market. So, so you, you, mustard powder. Yeah, and you know what is crazy is that um when I um went out to the store yes no, two days ago, they had you know, these things, these big tubs of like mustard, wasabi, or whatever. And then they also had these big, huge bags of ginger, like fresh ginger. Mm -hmm. So delicious. Oh, I love ginger, ginger steak. Mm -hmm. So I just put in this much powder. How much, much? <laughs> about, about a teaspoon. Yeah. Like a dash. Oh, I missed it. Your your da your dashes are big. <laughs> Michelle, a dash. Hold on, you gonna hold over the stove? Okay, let me get it right there. Okay, hold on, I need more powder. Okay, I got it. I was talking, and I kind of messed that up. So. Oh, and it's greenish. Yeah. But you know what? You don't have to use it just like for wasabi. You could use it for like mustard, like you. I mean, uh, mayonnaise. Wasabi mayonnaise. mayonnaise. Yeah. Add, add a little heat, yeah. Yeah. I tried to get into wasabi, but it really attacks my sinus. Bang. It, yeah. it, it, it clears it up, Kim. It clears it up. If yeah. You it. It. It's not attacking it. It's clearing it. I, I, have, I have some wasabi in my, in my cabinet, and, and I, I need clearing up, so maybe I'll, I'll go get some of that. Yes, wasabi oh, yeah. is excellent for sinus infections. Yeah. <laughs> That's All a right. good thing. Yeah, I was wow. going to say for nice. you, can stock, wow. you can make stock in advance if you have extra time or you could just slow cook something like a turkey or mm -hmm. chicken and leave it overnight and then you could just uh, freeze the stock for later. Yeah. If you want to do it. That's a really good concern. Uh, that looks good there, Michelle. Oh, yeah. It does. So it's just a little bit of water and... That's it. Just water. Mm -hmm. So if I, I'll probably make... Since, since I won't... Eat that this week. I'll probably use. Um, I'll probably put some mayonnaise on it. Mayonnaise with it. Oh yeah, that'll make it nice and spicy. Mm -hmm. mm, spicy mayo. And exactly. Nothing spontaneously combusted yet or anything, so we're doing good, right? Yeah. <laughs> and and Michelle, Michelle was worried. She was worried about. I'm still worried. <laughs> these are the rice cakes. P.S. You uh, can get these um, for two ninety nine at the store. Thank Very you. cheap. Um, I just rinsed them with a little water. I told you they smelled or they look kind of like um, erasers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Oh, like erasers. Erasers. Just don't confuse that with a bag of cotton balls because it might not have the same result. <laughs> 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 huh, bag of cotton balls in the. <laughs> okay, Larry. I just throw everything you. here. Why not? I miss Stormy. Michael, smile. Okay, that's good enough. I know I'm not going to get very much out of you. <laughs> smile. I can't see you guys because I'm on low. Yeah. So those, those are the, the glass, glass noodles. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, oh, look yeah. at the picture I just took of you. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to love me for these pictures. Uh, <laughs> It looks like you're wrestling it. <laughs> Arr. Arr, I missed that one. Okay. That's 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 a pirate bite. Arr. That's just that she made it a pirate, Larry. Yeah, she would. <laughs> ah, so you just cut it and drop it in the pot. Oh, let me get that. Mm -hmm. Can you pretend like you're cutting again? <laughs> <laughs> Gotcha. Thank you. So you don't put uh, too many noodles in there, right, Michelle? No, I just kind of put whatever I feel. Okay. 
When I get tired of fighting with them, I just put them in. There. Okay. So I mean, this may I mean this will only take a few minutes, but that looks like a pretty hearty soup now. Yeah. It is. And so what I'm gonna do also, I'm gonna put like an onion in there again. I like onions. Soup but you know what? Um. Well, let's see. I always put onions in like. Do you ever make your own egg drop soup? Yes, I do. What do you put in your egg drop soup? I put onions or, or, or chives that, that we have, which is the same from the same family, and um, noodles, mm -hmm. and you uh, use some of our local um, herbs like oregano and and thyme to keep it more trini. Okay. No hemp though, right? No hemp, no hemp. <laughs> <laughs> but if you, if you live in California, you might use hemp. I don't know. Or Colorado. <laughs> or Colorado. Or Oregon. Yeah, probably better Colorado or Oregon because they'll still break down your door here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's looking so that good. Looks, that looks good, Michelle. So, it's Michelle, better. you know you can freeze dry that and send it to me, right? For time purposes, I probably should have put the um, rice noodles in earlier, but I mean these like look these little rice cakes. But. That's okay. Mm -hmm. Wow, it's looking you know, good. Do you ever make, when you, um, does anyone in here still eat ramen noodles? Yep. <laughs> I, I have to admit, I, I do. <laughs> I do. I love, but because I, I love them. Like, I could eat them every day. But I probably, yeah. like, my heart would... Chicken, chicken's my favorite flavor in shrimp. But I always put an egg in my ramen noodles, do you? Mm -hmm. Yes. Too lazy. Mm -hmm. What? <laughs> no. Three I was like, uh... It's basically done. It looks great. It looks great, yeah. But I, I don't know if the, if the rice cakes are done. Because I kind of was talking. But I mean, that's all it is. Yeah. And the, the noodles are already done. You see that? I love well, those. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Shoot. Okay, hold it up again, please. Hold on. <laughs> hold I on. grabbed it. You got it, Anthony? Yeah. Ooh, that looks so good. I want to no, be no. there eating that. Darn. Yeah. <laughs> See, it's the one good. time I'm not living in North Carolina. <laughs> the one time. The one time. So that's it. I mean, that's easy. And what, Jim will eat that. I'll probably put some pepper in it. So that's it. That's it. Fantastic. I should get Jim in here to try this. He well, you have to yeah, have yeah, the, yeah. The eating yeah, portion. Yeah, you have to have the taste tester inside. Yeah. Hold on. Call him. <laughs> I think I need to get one of those burners because I have an electric stove and. <sighs> I mean, it's it's very inexpensive. I mean, from, oh, yeah. you know what she says, and it looks very efficient. Oh, Larry, I forgot. I want to give something away. Oh, hey. Yeah, we forgot about that. Drum roll, please. Giveaways. Giveaways. Awesome. <laughs> I don't know how you want to do it. Shall we draw names? Uh, yeah. I wanted to give you two of my favorite cream candies. I will send them to you. These are little pocky sticks, but you can get them anywhere. You, but I love the, the ones that you get. Hold, on. Hold them up. Hold them up. Oh, missed it. Hold on. <laughs> oh, there's that face. <laughs> and these, gotcha. are not, these are not Korean, but I just really like these gummies. Oh, yeah. And they are shipping friendly, so I'm saying Okay. That. Um, well, but Michelle, I pick somebody, Larry, and I'll... I'll uh, no, you, you pick somebody. You I want to pick somebody. Yeah, all right. Uh, <laughs> Can you just do the drawing? And... Oh, gosh. You, the pressure's on me now. No. <laughs> Um, all right. Uh, one for Kim, one for Michelle. Um, um, Tarina. Thank oh. you. Hey, <laughs> there. Awesome. <laughs> so, I meant to tell you guys, too. I'll send you guys 
send you guys a Trader Do you have Trader Joe's in your area? Yes. yes. That I will send yeah. you two gift cards to Trader Joe's so that you can buy these yourselves because <sighs> whenever you're lazy, which, which is I am, right. but um, mm. you get these little, you can get these little stickers <clears throat> and you can do it all yourself. Mm. Hey, hey, Anthony. Mm. Anthony, I I knew we had no chance of winning those. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I never win anything. <laughs> well, make sure. Are only like four bucks, so I'll send you guys just a little, just a little gift certificate, so you can buy it yourself. Well, make sure that two Americans get that, Larry. Oh right, yes, yeah. because because oh. I don't, yeah. I'm in Trinidad. Oh, that's right, that's right, that's right. <laughs> and uh, I do well, well, <laughs> well, right, right next to you, <laughs> Stephanie, 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 yeah, Stephanie, yeah, lady, lady on there. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sorry, this looks kind of pitiful when I only made one. No, no, no. It does not. No. You only made enough that you made. Hey, even if it's bad, make it taste like it's I gotta bad. make it taste. <laughs> <laughs> hold it, hold it, hold it. Gotta get a good picture of you. Come, 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 come in, come in, come in the frame. Hold on one really second old. before you put it in your mouth. I gotta. Uh, ready? Okay, Anthony. Yeah. Ready? And Jim, ready? Go, Jim. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Looks great. <laughs> and the hand comes from in our house. Yeah. <laughs> hand comes from the side. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Great you know job. What? Give him the plate, yeah. <laughs> you, like, you don't need this anymore. <laughs> the thing that, the, actually, the thing I like about it is um, because it's it's still actually crispy because mm -hmm. you fry it and then it's still um, like soft in the middle. On yeah. the inside, yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Why did you try the water trick? Yeah, did you disappear? Uh, try this. Okay. Here you go. Okay. It's hot. <laughs> yeah. Be careful. Careful. Oh God. Really hot. I don't want to. You got him, Mike. Uh, Anthony. Yeah. Wow, that's really good. Mmm. Mmm. Sorry, you guys can't have this. I know. I'm hungry. <laughs> yeah, right. You're sorry. We can. Thanks for doing that over us, Jim. I appreciate it. Yeah. Beautiful. You're like a wet noodle. Your rice cakes are really good too. These are already done. Yeah, they're good. Wow. Fantastic. Yay! Bravo. Wow. I'm surprised it's stuck together in the liquid. Yeah. It didn't wow. Awesome. <laughs> and the cook is enjoying herself. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I didn't cause a fire either. Oh, yeah. Yay. 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 So, Michelle, when is when is the next show? Two weeks. Two weeks. Right. I think what I'm going to do for Michael, I think I'm going to make chop chay. Oh, nice. nice. Michael. So, nice. Wait, where did he go? He left. He but disappeared. It's basically like the Korean version of lo mein, but it's very easy. Ooh. Very easy, and it's delicious. And it's sweet potato stuff. Instead yeah. Of yeah. yeah. Nice. Yeah. Gluten free, right? Is that? Gluten free. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, well, folks, there you have it. Uh, Michelle's debut, and she did a fabulous job. Absolutely, absolutely. Thank you for coming. Yeah. Um, will you do me a favor, though? Will people send me their addresses so I can send them their stuff? Sure. Yeah. Absolutely. So, um, Stephanie, if you could ping Michelle in uh, well, after the show. You. All right. All right. Well, I know Kim has 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 contacts, so it's, it's no problem. Yes. Yeah. So, anyway. Folks, um, next week, uh, Serena will be debuting her Not show. Not next week. Not, this oh, week. This Thursday. week. Uh, I keep saying next week. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, my dear. This Thursday at <laughs> 7 o'clock. Eastern. Eastern. Sweet Hand. 
Cooking Caribbean? No. Caribbean no. cooking with Serena <laughs> will will be will be debuting for the new year. Thanks. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. And, we got through that. <laughs> all right. And on Friday, on Friday, don't forget the Pirates Pub, George Sepich, uh, Richard Wooding, myself. We Paul will Platt. be Paul, Paul Platt. Platt. Uh, we have some. Uh, we have a musical guest. I, I can't tell you who's coming on, but he's fantastic. He's a YouTube sensation. Had over six million views. Wow! Yes, the guy is awesome, and he's only like twenty years old. Wow! Yeah. Uh, famous. Yeah. 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 Not gonna. Not 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 gonna tell you guys. You guys have to tune into the Paris Pub next. Right. And, and we may have a handful of other uh, uh, special musical guests dropping by too. So yeah, it's, there you go. Good. There you have it. So I would like to like to thank everyone. Anthony, George, Kim, uh, Michelle, of course, Dr. Hill, Serena, and Stephanie. Thank you. Great job, Michelle. Great job. Great. Awesome job. <laughs> I wish you guys could come over and eat all this food. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Awesome sauce, Michelle. Awesome sauce. <laughs> okay. See you guys. Thank you.